Okay, hello everyone. So today we got a Taylor 114 CE-S coming in for Pro Setup. Uh, other than that, his tuners needs to be changed as well. So that one will be go to locking tuners. Other than that, he needs a neck reset for this. Uh, mainly because the action was very very high. It was around 6.5. Uh, more details later on on how I, I approach the issue. Other than that, yeah, pretty much uh, that's all. Um, I see you at the update at the end of the video. Bye. Okay, hello everyone. So today we got a tailor coming in for a pro setup together with a neck reset and uh, an upgrade for the tuners. So this is model number 114CE-5. Um, the tuners are Goto locking tuners. The original ones is uh, sometimes you get the correct tuning, sometimes it doesn't get the correct tuning. So the gearing might be a bit off um, in terms of tolerances. Then, um, so what I did for the neck reset is I 3D printed some shims and I tried it out. I tried 2mm, 2.5, um, 3 and 4. Um, typically, you it will accept 2.5, between 2.5 to 3.5. Um, this one is just increase of uh, height, is no angle, um, angle deviation lah, uh, in that sense. So, um, if for you guys who do not know, there's actually two bolts going this way and there's actually one bolt going uh, towards the top, top to the bottom. So, it's like, um, it's like an electric guitar but um, it's a bit more complicated than that. Uh, I 3D printed the parts for this. Um, so, before I begin, initially, um, on the 12th fret, the height was around 6, 6.5 I don't know why but it, it seems to be like some of the guitars that are, pre are new from factory even um, they come with very very high action so this might affect your intonation, playability and that kind of thing um, so my uh, my take is I want to I want to make, make it a bit more playable okay so typically for acoustic guitar what people do is people will shave this thinking that oh just shaving this will make the action better actually action um, action compromise of a few other things one is the night height uh, the neck relief uh, together with the together with the saddle itself um, so apart from that uh, you 
on most guitars, um, there is some some sort of a neck angle that you need to play around with. Um, if lower end guitar, sometimes it's pretty straightforward, but it has its own problems. So you need to compensate for that. Okay. Um, yeah. So six point five. Right now, I brought it down to two point two five. Actually, I was a bit more. Um, I wasn't so optimistic because sometimes it's, it's a hit and miss. Sometimes I can get three at most. Uh, my my target is always 2.25 for the bass side. But yeah, this is one of the guitars that actually gets to 2.25. Okay. So 2.25 on the bass side. Um, treble side is 1.75. Pretty close to 1.5 But I, I count it as 1.75 lah. Okay, standard tuning This is on um, 11.52 <laughs> Tuning is quite stable right now. It's actually very stable. It's more stable than previously. Um, yeah, action is very low. This is very very comfortable right now. Um, <clears throat> apart from that, um, yeah, when he's he came in, actually he tried and and try and fiddle with it a bit. Um, another thing that you need to take note is you need to be very careful of the. Um, uh, the pickup itself because sometimes if you, because this there's an allen key here they actually clamps down the, the pickup to the saddle itself sideways so so if let's say you over tighten the thing you, you might deaden a bit of the other strings so when you play typically uh, what how i do it is when i play i will Turn it clockwise and anti-clockwise to actually dial in the the volume itself. So you can really you can hear whether it's louder or softer, or if you want it to be louder or softer on certain certain strings. So now right now it's a, a bit more balanced. Uh, previously when when I was uh, when I got it, um, it wasn't so balanced lah. Alright. Okay, so far, yeah, another thing is for the bridge slot, I actually widen it a bit more. Um, this will help give a bit more of a fuller contact uh, to the bottom side of the bridge plate. Um, so there's a bridge itself. Then underneath underneath this, this section here, there's another piece of wood um, whereby the ball itself will actually lodge itself to... Uh, <coughs> To the to the underside of this bridge not this bridge there's a bridge plate below 
I see if I can find a picture, uh, then you can take a look from there. Okay, so uh, pretty much that's it. I'm going to finish up with the pro setup, uh, which includes uh, fret polishing, um, fret board oiling, um, then clean up the body top to bottom. After that, we can call it a day for this guitar. So, it's good. I see you soon. Bye. Okay, that's all for today. If you need my help with any of the guitar or bass work, do let me know. You can contact me via WhatsApp 8418995951. See you soon. Bye.